Actually, we're talking about CDDs. Yeah, that was right. That was tacky. Whatever. I had to do it. So we're going to talk about CDDs, the pros and cons. A CDD. A CDD is an infrastructure that usually the local government and the developer would pay for. And now there's a bond that pays for everything, right? So the clubhouse, the sewers, the, the, the et cetera, right? And that fee is passed on to you, the homeowner. So remember, there's two things I want to teach you right now either if you're living in a CDD or if you're looking to buy a house, possibly in a CDD. Two things. When you pay off your bond, let's say it's $1,000 a year, your CDD bond, there will still be a maintenance fee that is taking over, right? So let's say your bond is $1,000, maybe your maintenance fee is $400 because there's still somebody taking over and, and in the clubhouse and the pools and everything, right? So you have to think of a CDD as almost like the HOA that's normally there, especially for the northerners, they move back and they're more of like the government, right? And the CDD takes over and does the community events, the pools, blah, 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 right? So even when the bond is paid off, there's still a maintenance fee for the, infra well, not even really for the infrastructure, but yeah, the clubhouse, the pool, the maintenance and all that. And there's still going to be an HOA because there's the back end of the government. So the other thing too is remember, you have your taxes and then you have your CDD, right? So when you, when you look at a house, let's just say there's a $200,000 house in this community and a $200,000 house in this community. This one has a CDD, this one doesn't. Right off the bat, you have to remember that it's the same house, but this is going to be more money wherever, sorry, I am CDD side. It's going to be more money a month because of that CDD tax. So when you're pre-approved, most lenders are pre-approving you for a non-CDD. They're just like 200000 based on the taxes of what they should be. So basically what I'm saying is a $200,000 house in a CDD community, monthly payments might be the same as you getting a $240,000 house in a non-CDD. You gotta look at it this way. So what's the pros and cons? Well, it all depends what you're looking for. You know, I see, I'm driving around constantly and I'm all over Florida a lot. And there is some unbelievable communities out there. I mean, I'll give it the, the ridge up in Westie Chapel is unbelievable what you get out of living there. So, I mean, I really think it depends what you're looking for. Do you want that community, the sports complex, the pools, this and that, and, and, and you don't mind paying the CDD to live in that community and get all that? Or do you not need that? You know, especially, I always say, if you buy in a CDD community and then you put a pool in the house, well, you're almost paying for the pool with your CDD. That's just me though. So I guess it really matters what you're looking for. I mean, I had a buyer once to say, I don't want to live near anyone. I don't want this. I don't want that. So they bought a house in a non-CDD, non-HOA community. Then there are people that want that community feel. They want that, you know, water set feel, which is a beautiful community. I guess it all depends what you're looking for. Um, at the end of the day, too, remember, when you live in a non-HOA, non-CDD, you kind of do what you want, but your neighbors can, too, so you got to remember, you know, I know we all grew up in non-HOA, non-CDDs up north, and we all live pretty, the blocks were nice and the grass, but that's kind of the difference, too, is, you know, then you have the HOA and you have the CDD and that makes sure things are taken care of in the neighborhood and whatnot. So if you have any questions on it, you really want me to get into depth of exactly, you know, where it came from, you know, the chapter 190 of the Florida status um, and, and how the bonds became, you know, so crazy now, these CDDs and, and what's the difference and what neighborhoods are the difference. Please contact me anytime. I can sing this song again. CDD. I just made that up before I put this video on. Uh, thank you guys so much. Happy Tuesday. Hope you had a happy and safe Labor Day. Remember, check out FunTampa.com. We have a lot of really cool videos coming and I'll see you tomorrow for more education.